Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I've been invited today um, to talk about what the European Investment Bank can do and how uh, in support of innovation in the manufacturing sectors. So I will very briefly uh, say what is the European Investment Bank, cover our activities in support of innovation in manufacturing in the past years and our plan for the future. And I will focus on the financial instruments that we are developing together with the European Commission, which are aimed at complementing the Horizon 2020. So, the European Investment Bank is the EU bank and uh, um, has been set up by the Treaty of Rome in 1958 with uh, the aim of providing finance for sound and sustainable investment projects. We are the largest multilateral lender and borrower in the world. We raise our funds on the capital markets and we pass on the favorable borrowing condition to our clients. The European Investment Bank is not only about lending, it's about advising, technical advice through our, uh, again, cooperations with the Commission, the JASPERS facilities, as well as financial uh, and support for public-private partnership. It's about blending, so combining EU instruments and EU budget with EIB finance and expertise and we are going to talk about one of our blending instruments, which is risk sharing finance facility later in the presentation. But of course, it's mostly about lending. And our lending is focused on the European Union and is, for, is aimed at supporting EU policy goals, increasing uh, so increasing growth and employment potential, environmental sustainability, and economic and social cohesion. What I would like to draw your attention on is the, our lending to uh, SMEs and uh, mid-caps, which amounted in 2012 to almost one-fourth of our total lending. And of course, our lending to knowledge economy. So in 2012, we um, supported innovation by financing projects in this sector for some 9 billion euros. euros. Since 2000, when we started supporting knowledge economies, our activities in these areas have gradually increased and we have been supported with financing more than 600 individual RDI projects, 50% of which are with pure private sector investment. Of course, an important part of what we do when financing innovation is in the manufacturing uh, industry. The manufacturing industry in Europe is the biggest contributor, contributor to R&D spending uh, in the business sector and uh, most of the project we finance in, for manufacturing is in support of innovation skills and competitiveness. What do we finance in research, development and innovation? We finance research and development and what we call projects are indeed programs which cover tangible and intangible costs over three to four years. So we finance uh, operating costs, personnel, contract research, consumable overheads, and we finance uh, capital expenditures, such as facilities and equipment. Our focus is indeed uh, strongly on innovation, where, as it was mentioned earlier on today, we have the bulk of the investments. So capital expenditures related to the first commercial launch, a focus on the deployment of key enabling technologies and costs which we can finance are the prototypes, the pilot plants, demonstration plants, but also first of a kind production line, application of advanced manufacturing systems, deployment of advanced and more efficient processes. 
So the IB has been supporting innovation and skills and has been supporting innovation since 2000. Uh, in 2012, the European Council asked the European Investment Bank to further support uh, uh, growth and employment in Europe uh, in these times of uh, uh, economic difficulties. And the European Council has was granted 10 billion euros of additional capital, of capital increase to the bank, which will translate in 60 billion euros of additional lending and up to 180 billion euros of additional investments. Uh, so the 10 billion euros of paid in capital increase will enable the bank to lend 20 more billion euros per uh, year in the next three years, considering 2013, 14, and 15. So 40% lending growth to what, uh, compared to what uh, was our previous plan. And where is this increased lending focus? is on innovation and skills, SME access to finance, resource efficiency, and strategic infrastructures. An important instrument that European Investment Bank, together with European Commission, has developed in the previous financing program is the risk-sharing finance facility. The risk-sharing finance facility is a joint financial instrument um, jointly funded by own resources from European Investment Bank and uh, European Commission, 1 billion and 1 billion, which in 2000, uh, was launched in 2007 to support mostly sub-investment grade uh, uh, private companies in their research deve and development um, investments. These uh, instruments, which is now reaching the end, as by far exceed its goal of multiplying by five of this capital invested. And in fact, we have reached more than 14 billion euros of approvals for uh, projects in the uh, RDI area. And these projects are, um, have been, uh, have been, uh, projects have been signed, operation has been signed in 21 countries in most in all of R&D intensive uh, sectors. What these pictures also shows with the dots, with red dots, is the countries where uh, we have an entry point for the uh, RSI, the risk sharing instrument, a guarantee instrument which has been developed by the European Investment Fund on a mandate from, from the bank and it's aiming at providing guarantees for innovative SMEs. So what is in the future for these, uh, for these instruments and the, the bank landings in this area? So the bank and the commission are building on the success of RSFF, which has entered into the market in a time of need because uh, it was a time, uh, because it coincided with the beginning of economic crisis and has, is developing within Horizon 2020 an inst um, a, a portfolio of inst financial instruments which will be broader in scope and, uh, uh, and, 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 and more extended. This uh, uh, slide briefly uh, so shows you in a snapshot all the possible financial instruments. We uh, uh, so the, the, the work on the final um, setup of these new facilities and of these new instruments, including the de final decision on the new name for this facility, is work in progress currently, but the principles are very clear already. So we will broaden our scope to focus more, even more, on SMEs and mid-caps by providing targeted instruments, and we will broaden our scope uh, together with the Commission to cover the, the full cycle of research, development, innovation, and deployment, commercialization, commercialization of the new activities. So in terms of lending for SMEs, 
uh, an important role is again played by the European Investment Fund, which is part of the European Investment Bank Group, which again, on the basis of instruments jointly developed with the Commission, is, will put forward uh, uh, equity funds and again the guarantee instrument, the RSI, uh, which is aimed at supporting innovative SMEs with allocations or with uh, um, allocations between 25,000 euros and 7.5 million euros. For larger companies or larger type of investments, we, uh, the EIB is putting in place two type of facilities, an, in an intermediated facilities and direct facilities which with streamlined and uh, simpler procedures, which is called GFI. And it's targeting mostly mid-caps, so companies with up to 3,000 employees and with investment between, uh, with, um, uh, investment between 25 and 50 million euros, meaning allocations, so uh, loans from the bank from 7.5 to 25 million euros. And finally, there will be a renewal on a broader scope of the uh, individual loans to larger companies or to larger needs in terms of investment through the risk sharing finance facility. This will come on top of the traditional EIB activities and reinforced through the um, capital increase on global loans targeting SMEs and mid caps. So these are intermediated uh, um, banking lines and direct lending in support of innovation and skills. So to conclude, uh, we have heard today, and we of course uh, uh, read in all type of reports, how access to finance is one of the short term, short and medium term challenges that uh, um, manufacturing companies, particularly in the R&D intensive sectors are facing nowadays. Um, this problem is particularly true for SMEs and mid-cap in countries which are particularly hit by the, countries, by the crisis, but even in more performing countries, this is a clear issue. So the EIB is stepping up its uh, lending in the areas of innovation and skills and is developing with, together with the Commission instruments, that, financial instruments that would, could complement the grants instruments of the Commission for support as SMEs, mid-caps and larger companies, particularly if they are sub-investment grade, in their innovation type of investment. And this is the end of my presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you have a question? Please. We were speaking in the, in the, in the previous presentation uh, with regard to a smart spe specialization and the use of structural funds. Can you give us, uh, you know that the, the manufacturing community, the manufacturing communities the, um, with, um, in relation with factors of the future and the, with the Horizon 2020 is evolving towards demonstration projects and um, pilot lines, what we call pilot lines. How can you elaborate on the, how this, the role of the uh, EIV and the EIF will take part in this um, concept of smart spe specializations? how the structural, funds and structural and cohesion funds can be implemented through EIV. Thank you. So, um, as I said, the European Investment Bank complements the, the, the funding by the Commission. So, uh, and in, uh, so in, in terms of what we are financing on, on innovation, clearly demonstration plant and uh, uh, and first, the commercial line as well are uh, important for us and it's one of our areas of focus as our key enabling technologies which are very relevant in the manufacturing sector. So, uh, the European Investment Bank could support with funding this type of projects uh, and depending on the size of 
the, um, the promoter, so the, 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 the company, the entity implementing the, the facility, as well as in the size of the um, uh, and type of instrument requested could be either through one of the instruments of the European Investment Fund, so guarantees and equity funds for SMEs, or through direct lending from the bank.